I'm going to show you how to do a diagram of a hyperboloid um, in math illustrations. This is quite a complicated little diagram but it's easy to do um, and quite good fun so let me show you. I'm going to start off with an ellipse and it's going to be kind of a flattish ellipse that's going to represent looking um, kind of edge on at, the t at a circle. So we're, we're really creating a three-dimensional um, drawing here. Now I'm going to take that ellipse, select everything, and I'm going to translate it downwards. Give me a second copy. So let's do that. So we have a second copy of our ellipse. I now want to draw a line from C to some other point on the uh, second ellipse not onto the C dash, that would give me in fact um, a, a cylinder. I now want to specify the location of C on that ellipse. Now I specify that by selecting the point C and then selecting the ellipse and then using the constraint um, point proportion along the curve. I can get that down here or I can do uh, use the constraint menu, uh, constraint proportional and I'm just going to use T as a variable. Uh, we'll let it be location T. Um, point F, I'm going to constrain its location um, on the bottom ellipse. Um, again, using constrain proportional. And I'm going to let that be a location T plus K. So it's a certain constant further along uh, around the curve than as C is. And now all I need to do is take this line and go to my uh, trace tool. What that and then I get to choose my parametric variable, it's T, it's going to go from 0 to 2 pi, that's actually going to go all the way around uh, my circle and 50, ok I'm going to get 50 copies of it and here's the picture I get. So I get to see where that point goes um, as T moves around um, and in fact that gives me a picture of a hyperboloid. I can do various things. I can, If I drag F that's changing K and I can make it more pinched in or more flat. In fact it looks like a cylinder once I get it round to sit on top. I move it around again and uh, get it to pinch in more.